Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Worthy Life, and this is a Plan With Me video for February of 2021. I'm filming in One Note for Windows 10, and I'm going to walk you through how I evaluate the past month and set new goals for the upcoming month. As I usually do with Plan With Me videos, I have already done this process on my own, and then I film it afterwards so that I can give you a really concise overview. Also, you'll see that the pages I use in OneNote are pretty basic, so there isn't much to show in terms of OneNote tips or tricks. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do is I start by reviewing the prior month, which in this case is January, and I review the goals I had set for that month. Uh, I have a page set up with the goals on it, and then I do my review in color just to differentiate any commentary or review from the original comments. So in this case, I use this light purple highlighting to add my commentary. I just use whatever color I feel like it. There's no meaning or anything to it. Most of my evaluation I do at the end of the month, but I do make comments as I go, especially if I finish something in the middle of the month. So this page shows my goals for One Note Worthy Life, which is my YouTube channel and blog. And back in November's plan with me, I shared how I pared my goals down, like way, way down to make life just simpler and less stressful. And so for December and January, uh, I only have two goals, and I would normally have three to five for each uh, of personal and work stuff. Um, I think I really like the pared down version of just having a couple of things. Maybe I would have three, but two to three is, seems like a really good number. Um, it feels like a lot less scattered and that I have more focus and more uh, ability to get through these things. So the first of these two goals is my editorial calendar. Uh, for about the past year, this has been a big focus of mine, is to set up an editorial calendar and then stick to it and hit every point on it. This is uh, a really important skill for a YouTube creator, and it also helps you to lay things out in a serial format, where if you want to do something and then followed by something else and something else, you need to be able to get things out in the right order and on time. So I've been working on that quite a bit, and I was just about ready to let it go. I felt like I had really gotten there, and I was just doing it on a regular basis. It was no longer challenging, and I had kind of ironed out all the problems. And then um, toward the end of the year, like November and December and then into January, I just felt like I kind of had a rut, for lack of a better word. I got kind of just overwhelmed and felt really overly busy and stuff at the end of the year. And then January was just really eventful here in the U.S. with uh, politics and stuff like that. So um, I decided to keep this on my goal list. And I'm back again doing pretty well with it. I think I'm just going to keep that for another month or two until, again, it really just feels like second nature. And then I will say that that goal is complete and I can move on to something else. The second goal has to do with the OneNote Planner Creator Series. And if you haven't seen or heard this, um, in the fall of 2020, I put together a live stream series featuring people that create planners specifically for OneNote. And the series is over. I just have one final little uh, wrap-up post that I want to do on my website. And I've been working on that, and I ran into a WordPress problem. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish it in January. Uh, I do want to finish it in February, though. So then on to my January goals page for personal goals. So most months, the very first thing I do is I set a calorie goal. I'm actively working to drop a little bit of extra weight. So I set a goal by of how much I want, want to under eat by. And I didn't quite make it, but I did a lot better than I did some other months. And I did drop some weight. So that's totally awesome. I'm really happy with that. And I'm going to stay with that number for February. The second goal has to do with a sewer repair, and this has been going on for a couple of years. We have had, had to have this repair done, and it's uh, a tricky thing because it's unclear like who's in charge of what and what agencies we need to be in contact with, but we're really far along. We have a contract sign. We are just waiting to get to the top of the contractor's uh, schedule. And my main thing with this was I wanted to never be the holdup myself, so we are just waiting for them. I have not held anything up and we're pretty close to the top. We've had a couple of near misses where we were going to start and then they, they didn't start. So um, there's nothing I can do on that except be ready to start whenever they're ready. My third personal goal is that I am rereading Getting Things Done. That's the book and productivity system. And this is my actual third time going through it. Um, and I'm just loving it. There's so much great information in there. And it's kind of amazing that this is the third time I'm reading it and I'm still learning so much. Um, and I'm doing a more detailed implementation this time um, compared to the second time. 
and it's going great. I'm just loving it. So the next page I set up is called What Else? And this is just a free form page for anything that came up during the month, whether it was good or bad or surprising or anything that impacted the way my month turned out. And in January, um, I was just feeling so much better now that the new year has started. I think I just get very overwhelmed and feel like kind of pressured with all the busyness and the extra traffic and errands and things like that around the holidays so that once January rolls around, it's I have this big feeling of relief. And the further we get past the new year, the better I feel. So yeah, I was just feeling much, much better. Um, I was heading into February feeling great mentally and physically. And then in January, we also managed to complete another step in our home security system, which uh, is great because that wasn't even like one of my goals and we managed to get something done on that. Uh, my husband and I are do-it-yourselfers and so we've been building out and expanding our home security system for a while. So I was really pleased to get another piece added to that. The next page is my January annual plan and this is what I thought I would be doing in January when I set the year up. And I've been doing this for a while. I kind of just map out the big events of the year, um, mainly so that I can see when I have uh, open months where I might be able to plan a trip or a bigger project or something. And last year and this year, I kept this plan really light and it's really worked out well. It's given me a lot of flexibility and allowed me to react to things when they came up. So I'm probably going to continue doing that, especially... Um, at least until, you know, we're a little bit further along with the whole, you know, pandemic thing. So in January, there was just uh, New Year's Day. Uh, my birthday falls in January. And then we had a couple of family birthdays, which we are doing virtually. So that was fun. We managed to do those. And then um, this is my January calendar. And I do this every month. I set put in a monthly calendar. And I write down one good thing, or sometimes it's just an interesting or unusual thing that happened, but usually I like to write down one good thing that happened. And I'm a very concrete thinker, so this has been really good for me because it's proof. It's like kind of like tangible proof that's like right on the page in front of me that good things are happening to me. So I really enjoy doing this. And sometimes I do a lot more um, colorful stuff and whatever, but as long as I have something on there, I feel happy. So that's it for January. Let's get into February. So uh, I want to start by looking at my February annual plan. And again, this is what I thought I'd be doing in February when I set the year up. So uh, all we had is uh, my husband and I had an anniversary. And usually around February is when we start looking to get the dogs in for their annual vet care because their licenses are due um, in March. So not much happening in February. My goals for One Noteworthy Life, I'm just going to go through this really quickly because they're pretty much the same. I just want to follow my editorial schedule and I want to finish that final post and fix my WordPress problem. Ditto for my personal goals. So they're exactly the same. Um, I want to under eat by 300 calories a day, I'll continue to drop a little bit of weight. I want to get that sewer repair done. Um, hopefully that'll be this month. It might roll into March. But again, as long as I'm not the holdup, I consider that a success. And I want to continue reading uh, GTD or getting things done. I'm doing 15 minutes a day either on reading or implementation. And it's going great. I just, I'm loving it and really feeling inspired. And then the final thing is uh, my February calendar. So I filled in a few things because I am filming a little ways into February. Um... So that's it, that we are all set up for the month, and uh, I'm just feeling so uh, positive and really feeling good about this time of year. And as I do at the end of every Plan With Me video, I want to take this chance to encourage you to set up a process of your own of goal setting and reviewing. It's really, really helpful when I'm kind of on fire and full of energy and enthusiasm and I'm getting lots of things done. And it's also really helpful when I have a few down months, like I did at the end of the year. When I had to pare down, it was really helpful to know my starting point, to know what I had on my plate and what I could let go of for the time being. It's also just a comforting feeling to know that all of the things I'm working on are heading toward bigger goals or that I'm reaching toward the goals that I want to achieve. So if you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer you. If you want to see more videos like this, as well as OneNote tutorials and related videos on goal setting, life management, personal organization, and things like that, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.